computers are so much a part of our lives these days, we don't think twice about them, really. But imagine being in a place where one computer can open the world to hundreds of children. Kabir joins us now with a Maryland man touching young lives thousands of miles away. Kabir. Yeah, Lark and Allison. Seth Awusu, when he came to this country 15 years ago, didn't even know how to use a computer. Well, not only did he learn how to use them, but also to repair them. And now he's using that knowledge to help children in his native country. Seth Awusu's kitchen often looks more like a computer repair shop than a place to cook meals. Awusu takes used, donated computers and refurbishes them. I was thinking, well, people, this little gadget here can store this much information and you can use it in this capacity. What if you just apply it in a classroom? Specifically, classrooms in his native Ghana. Owusu came to America to go to college 15 years ago. At the back of my mind, I had the idea of giving something back. Um, which form, I didn't know, but I knew I had to go back and I have to do something. Missionaries that came to his village planted a seed when Owusu was just a child. And I started thinking that if somebody can travel all this way, and our village wasn't very nice. You know, you have to come through bumpy roads with potholes and, and, and everything. And say, if these guys could just could sacrifice their time like this to help us, that's what I want to do when I grow up. Because the joy that it brought me that day was something I could never forget. Awusu remembered that dream when he went to work for a national electronics store. As soon as word spread about what he wanted to do, the computers started piling up. So many, in fact, that Iwusu now rents space at a warehouse for all the equipment. Soon, many of these old computers will be headed to Africa. How are you going to be able to get on the internet or get to interact with the rest of the world if you don't know how to punch a keyboard? You know, so that, that's my idea, that um, we, we, we buying the party dress before the party. <laughs> so we, we, we teaching the computer so when the, the uh, internet is available, these villages, they don't have the internet access yet. But when the internet is available, they can quickly jump into it and then be able to roll with it. But they don't just dump the computers and leave. They get the villagers involved, the chiefs, the townspeople. They conduct workshops and they're thinking about going beyond the schools. If the, the town can come up with uh, developmental activity to build uh, a library for the town, for mm -hmm. instance, we, we, can, we, we may be able to put three or four computers in, in the town's library. So when it's time, when the school is over, the kids wouldn't feel compelled to, to leave for the bigger cities because there's nothing in the village for them to do. So far, Awusu has donated nearly a dozen computers for classrooms in three villages in Ghana. He says that first trip brought back emotions from his childhood. I look at the faces and when I was giving my speech, I, I, I just felt this is the, the, the greatest day of my life. <laughs> and you know what, his, his enthusiasm is so infectious. His organization is called Entire Village Computers and he's hoping to make another trip to Ghana soon to continue the work that they've started there. We'd love to hear from you if you know somebody like Seth Owusu that's doing good things and making a difference. Back over to you. What an inspiration. What a great mm -hmm. story. Yeah. Thanks. Good guy. Yeah. Enjoy today while you can, Tony says. He's got a final check of the weather when we come back.